this is the what I call the big bathroom. So we've got an ensuite shower room in our bedroom. So this is a big bathroom where we bath the girls. So it's kind of like the girls' bathroom, really, I suppose. Um, so this is it before I've cleaned. It's got all my stuff in here because Daddy has been on nights. So I take everything into here that I will need. So my toothbrush, toothpaste, um, my makeup, my perfume, deodorant, uh, everything that I'll need, hair, uh, comb and things. So that I'm out of the way, out of the bedroom and he can just sleep and rest. Um, so he's off nights now for a couple of days. So I'm gonna put everything back, clean up the bathroom Give it a good old spruce up. That's all my cleaning bits and bobs. So I wear marigolds now to clean. I never used to. I used to just clean with my hands. Um, but I've recently been wearing gloves to kind of cut down on like sore skin and things like that. So I wear my marigolds. And I use my Silit Bang for the bath and the sink. So I spray that on and then I give it a rub with my sponge. This is a non-scratch sponge. You can get them in Asda's, Tesco's. So I use that. Um, for my toilet, I use these multi-surface wipes. So I wipe the whole thing down from the top all the way down to the toilet seat. And then I dry it over with a dry cloth so that you don't leave streaks. Um, and then for my glass surfaces, so things like the shower screen, the uh, mirror, that kind of thing, the windows... I use my glass cleaner. Um, I just use their own brand. I don't go for the Mr. Muscle um, because as far as I'm concerned, it's all the same and for what you're using it for, you're just wasting your money really because you're just spraying it and wiping it away. You're kind of, things like that with bleach as well. I go for their own brand bleaches because you're just throwing it down the toilet literally. So um, yeah, I don't kind of go for expensive things. Um, I haven't found an alternative to kind of seal it bang really. Otherwise, I would get their own brand. But I suppose I could try, um, have a look next time I go shopping and try um, some other brands. Um, but yeah, so I do that, spray it and wipe it with my kitchen roll. Um, so I'm going to start that. What I think I'll try and do is video myself doing it. And maybe if I can edit it and try and speed it up so it's not that boring for you to kind of watch. <laughs> Mummy's doing a video. Want to see it? Are you there? Mummy's doing a video. I'm cleaning the bathroom. Yeah.
your sister's room? Yeah. Yeah. Mommy's cleaning the bath? Yeah. You say? Mom. Good girl, bath. Ooh. I've got to rinse it down now. Give the shower. Yeah. Some bobs he needed to get. He's trying off. He's done a school run for me today, so I'm getting on with the cleaning because he's off from his night shifts. Which makes a nice change having him at home. Just going to get this little windowsill and wipe down. I'm going to do the windows today because I. Don't do them every time I clean the bathroom. Just sometimes. Oops. There we go, the toilet roll's done. And I'm going to throw that away because that's empty. Right, then now I've got to clean the toilet. finished. All the bubble bath and shampoo and everything's back where it should be. The mat's been cleaned and that's folded up, ready for bath time tonight. All my clutter has been cleared. Lovely and clean. Just need to wipe this over with a dry cloth. I normally wipe that over with a bit of kitchen roll so we don't get watermarks. So I'll just do that and then that's everything done. That's nice and shiny. And then I need to hoover and mop the floors. Uh, so I've just pulled my eldest's bed out because she's always getting things stuck behind it and I had a look down the side the other day and it looked quite dusty. So I've just pulled it out and the little chair that she had next to it, this little chair here, and I'm actually quite disgusted with what I found. It's a bit minging. It's very dusty. Needs a good hoover. So I'm gonna do all of that, pick up what she's got that's there give it a good old clean. So I've just kind of got my hoover attachment. So I've got my long nozzly thing to do down the side of the skirting boards, the corners of the carpet. And I've got my fluffy one, brushy one, to do the actual skirting boards. And then I'll hoover the rest of it just with the normal hoover attachment. <laughs>
nice and clean. I had to give it a bit of a scrub in the corners with my long nozzle attachment because it was a bit kind of dusty. Like a little bit around here. So I've given it a bit of a scrub. Done my skirting boards. Oh, it's all nice and clean now. So I can put the bed back. I've hoovered all around here as well. So the whole area is clean. Time to tackle the ensuite. Screw off. Screw that back in. So I'm not doing a deep clean today. If I was doing a deep clean, I'd take all of my shampoo, shower gels, conditioner, everything off the shelf, clean all the shelves out, rinse it all out and then put them all back on. But I'm just doing a quick clean today, so I'm just gonna do my shower, the walls of the shower, the shower head, the shower stand base, um, and that's it. So I go over the shower screen first with some Silic Bang and a scrubby brush. Um, mainly to get the soap scum off, like to agitate it. It mainly collects at the bottom of the shower screen there. And then I go over it with some glass cleaner and some kitchen roll. And it gets it up good as new. And then just for the outer side, I just do glass cleaner because it doesn't get so soapy as the inner side does. And 
that's the shower done. So last job is to clean the toilet. So I'll use my antibacterial wipes. Give it a good wipe over. some bleach down. So that's both bathrooms clean now, just need to empty both the bins and my work here is done.